Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Peace, love, oneness, divine vitality on the energy grids. So I'm going to keep it brief and simple on this one. Y'all already know what this is right here. We got the key of life. And then we have a distraction of the key of life. So at the end of the day, we know the Ankh represents the wound, divine feminine and divine masculine, Ashe. So when you're looking at the cross, you have a brotherhood, two masculines, you have no wound. So this is where you have the manipulation of divine feminine. So when we're realming a little deeper on a, another timeline, when we're talking about the Knights Templars and how they were taught with crystals, how to manipulate moon energy and distort divine feminine, we have a brotherhood of control and patriarchy energy. Ashe.